Okay, so there's been some concern as to whether or not graphene oxide has been found in the borax, the bentonite clay, activated charcoal, or diatomaceous earth. And so I, I did a little uh, inspection here using my 60 to 120 portable microscope and put a little bit of each substance here, along with some uh, pencil lead that I ground down. This is actually just writing with the pencil, and this is breaking it up and grinding it down. I also placed some in water, okay? Now, pencil lead contains graphene. It uh, is made of clay and graphite, which graphite is basically layers of, of graphene. So you can get a, a small amount out of, out of pencil lead. And I'm just going to do this as a demonstration because I don't seem to have any graphene oxide with me today. So anyway, here, diatomaceous earth, borax, bentonite clay, activated charcoal, and the uh, pencil lead graphene. All right. So... Let me, let me start by, by doing this experiment here. There's, there's a couple of ways you can determine the presence of graphene because it's magnet, magnetite. <laughs> it's magnetic, all right? So uh, I suspended this in water. This is just ground pencil lead, and this is an ND52 magnet that's wrapped in aluminum foil um, because the casing on it is, <laughs> is, is coming apart. So anyway, you put this here, and then we'll observe what happens. We'll do it south facing. And you see a slow progression of movement here towards the magnet. Pull the magnet away. You see it pulls away. Let's bring it over to the other side here, okay? Bring it to this side. Now, there's not a ton of graphene in this, all right? So if you had uh, a, a graphene oxide, you would see a faster reaction, all right? So there's, there's, if you don't have a microscope, there's other ways you can test to see if there is graphene in your product. It is in food, they admit that, and it is being used in medicine. Uh, so what... My concern was that the things that we are using to remove <laughs> toxic things that get into our body might be contaminated. Okay, so I ran the magnet over these before I put the tape down because I needed to get them all to roughly the same level so I don't have to adjust the focus too much. But I, I, I noticed no reaction here with, with the magnet with any of these while they were in their powder form. Now, this is going to be kind of hard to get this on the iPhone, but we're going to, we're going to do it anyway. Yes, sir, Bob. Hang on here. Okay, so this is your uh, diatomaceous earth. And this is really hard to see on the iPhone. I can I looked at with my with my bare eyes, and I can see much better, so. Right, it's really hard to do this and focus the thing at the same time. I sold my really good microscope. I'm going to try to get a, a different one that has better video options. Okay. So this is your borax. All right. Now let's go to the bentonite clay. And I'm looking at this through the monitor. This does not look anything near to what you can see with your own eyes. So I apologize for that. I didn't plan on doing this today. But here we are. All right. That's your bentonite clay. And let's go over here to the charcoal. Oh, this stuff makes a mess. And that's going to be really hard to see, uh, especially on this, because charcoal is black anyway. 
but the the structure of graphene oxide looks like little jagged it's like razor blades it's it's really sharp and jagged all right so here's the lead graphene i'm going to go over where the where i wrote with the pencil because that's the thinnest layer focus that a little bit Now let's go to the, 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 the powdered substance here. Let's see if I can get this in better focus. Now this, this is kind of similar here. You notice the jagged structure of these. Let me zoom in a bit if I can here. No, that's not going to work on this phone. I need to get my other microscope. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. So anyway, as far as I can tell, for my own research and proof, I do not believe there's any graphene oxide in any of these products. So I'm going to continue taking them. Uh, do your own research. <laughs> Come to your own conclusions. But as far as I can tell, they are using things like borax and such as a crosslink with uh, a chitin to make a polymer with um, graphene oxide. So they are using it in different ways for delivery and, and binding and such. But as far as these products, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't see any issue. Now, I buy my uh, activated charcoal in bulk, so I get, <laughs> I get a ton of that stuff, and I don't have the, the label with me. Um, <clears throat> I can't remember which company I bought it from. It's been, it's been a while. I have a ton of it left. And um, with the diatomaceous earth, I threw away that packaging as well. I got that at the local feed store for uh, uh, horses and chickens and such. Anyway, as far as I can tell, this stuff checks out.